I'm a nerd. I am one of those people who if I don't have a book in my pocket, in my purse, or within five feet of me, I get nervous and I start to twitch. My addiction, my passion is reading. And one of my favorite genres is science fiction. I love stepping back from reality and looking at the world as it could be. And lately, I have been seeing a lot of parallels between the fiction and the reality. For example, 20,000 leagues under the sea, we find Captain Nemo and his crew who are eating, sleeping, and breathing on a ship that is underwater. It's a submarine, right? Only this book was published in 1875. If you skip forward a few years, in 1898, War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells is published. And in this, we find a heat ray. This was the first idea of a laser, the first concept of using light as a tool. Skip way ahead, 1990, the book Shadow Spear introduces tracking bracelets. Still not immediate enough, okay? How many of you have read Ender's Game? Boris has got cards. Those of you who haven't, go read it. It's a good book. In this book, Ender Wiggins, the hero, is on Earth. And the battle squadron is on the other end of the galaxy. But Ender controls the whole war, all by remote. Does that sound familiar? If you go to the Creech Air Force Base in Nevada, you will find men and women who are behind the controls of drones that are flying in enemy airspace on the other side of the world. It is remote controlled warfare, the exact same idea as Ender's Game. Now, war isn't all that fun, but I like thinking of the future. I like thinking of what am I reading right now, today, that is gonna become reality tomorrow. Man going to colonize the stars. And the big question everybody always asks, wh what are we going to use as a fuel source? Are we going to be able to manipulate gravity? Or are we going to control nuclear reactions in a safe way? Are we going to travel faster than light? And are we going to prove or disprove Einstein's theory of relativity? I enjoy thinking, I do, I really do enjoy thinking about it. I can imagine myself, 80 years old, lying in my hospital bed because the diabetes has gotten so bad I can't walk anymore. <laughs> and the doctor is going to come in and he goes, you know, we can't do anything for your limbs as they are. But we have this new medical technique. We remove the dysfunctioning limb and then we cause your body to regenerate what we have removed. I'm going to laugh. I remember that story. I read it way back in like high school. <laughs> Only... We called it fiction because it couldn't be done. Which of today's fictions are going to become tomorrow's reality? My name is Bethany Edgington, and I'm a nerd.